time of the morning again. Pink skies, my favorite. Although I can't sit down and appreciate it this morning. I've got to get ready, look my best and head to London. You purring already? You purring already? <laughs> Good morning. This is the outfit that I'm wearing for today. This is my Jamati Stivali and H&M skirt with an intermissimi roll neck, Calcedonia tights and Jimmy Choo shoes. Oh yeah? Yeah, I wore it this morning. It smells of peony and blush suede, babe. I'm gonna put my acne coat on. It is pouring with rain outside, it is so miserable, so I'm probably gonna end up with flat hair by the end of the day, but it is what it is. Off we go. is full on fluffy this morning and my camera is really struggling to focus at the moment which is a little bit annoying. I'm on my way to the Brasserie of Light at Selfridges and I've never been there before so I'm gonna have to find it when I get there. I'm meeting Kiehl's first off today which is really nice and then I'm on to Dior and then Nars so it's a, a day full of meetings but lovely ones, all lovely ones. It's very cold very dark today but I'm awake and I'm here and it's good to be back in London. Ali wants me to use his tagline, the side of vlogging that, no, the no. side of vlogging. Oh, you killed it. Uh, shut up. Oh, Come on, give me the camera. The Come side on, of the vlogging that stops you vlogging. Oh yeah. So yes. I think we got about one meeting deep in my day of like three meetings. And I thought this was gonna be such a fun day to vlog. Ugh. And it just, like it was a fun day, but I just couldn't vlog it because it was hectic. Because I was by myself, I'm not able to keep track of time. So all of my meetings pretty much, apart from the first one, overran. Overran for good reasons though, because we just couldn't stop like chatting. I literally looked at my watch and I was like, oh my God, my Dior meeting was like to the wire. Then when I left Claridge's where I was with Dior, I tried to get in a taxi and I was like, please can you take me to where my next meeting, but it wasn't really a meeting, my last one. And the guy was like, no, 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 it's like a three minute walk. So I start walking in heels with the heaviest bags you've ever seen. And I checked my phone to see how far it was. It was a 15 minute walk. I was like, I, I won't make it. Luckily, a really lovely taxi then took me and dropped me right outside. I didn't have any of the right names of whose bookings it was under. So I was like left just wandering for so long. And then I found my last meeting, which was with Nas. And also it was like a joint, it wasn't a meeting. It was just Christmas drinks with the girls from Nas and Victoria and it was so nice. Oh my gosh, my voice hurts so much. And then Vic and I traveled home, had a gin and tonic on the way home. I've now made it home. My lovely, we did. Cause I, ma I, made, <laughs> I made Vic come in first class with me. <laughs> we had a gin and tonic and we were like chatting and all of that stuff. Sorry if you can hear my pasta that's on the cooker at the moment, but Ali is cooking me dinner. We've also had the, ho have we had the whole house masticked? Not the whole house, but I'm saying. Anywhere that you can have it masticked. A good 60%, 50% of the house. Really, is that it? Okay, maybe 75% of the areas that could be masticked. The whole basement wasn't masticked. So why did we need our hallway redoing? Because we had the, re the floor refitted. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job you're here, brains of the operation. Yeah, and I also, my video didn't go up, so I was like panicking that my video didn't go up. So I've managed to get that up, so sorry that whatever day has gone up, I think it's like my Christmas clear out video, has gone 
out a bit late. Sorry about that guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. But I need to get into some cozy clothes. What do I have on tomorrow? I think I'm quite lucky in the sense that tomorrow I am doing a like event with She Can, She Did. And I'm gonna just basically talk about being a woman in business, which is lovely. So I'm gonna go and do that tomorrow. So I'll probably have to take you guys with me for that because today has been a flop vlogging wise. Lummy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Pikachu? You play? She's like a kitten again. Yeah. She scratches them in my office as well. She's weird, man. She doesn't really... She likes to play, but she doesn't. She kind of gets scared, I think. Yeah. She's overhyped. Good morning, everyone. Gosh, I've been spoilt this week with flowers, haven't I? This huge, gorgeous bunch of flowers have just arrived. Oh, I'm so happy as well. There's no lilies in here. I always get so sad when there's lilies because I know I can't have them out. This has arrived from... Cult Beauty. It's my launch day today and uh, oh gosh we've just currently gone live with the box and I'm just so excited by the whole thing. Um, everything is just going so amazingly and it was just amazing working with Cult Beauty this time and I loved it and this is just such a treat to have some beautiful flowers in my home. Lovely white flowers. Oh Thank you so much, it says. Happy launch day, just a little something to say. Thank you for being a dream to work with. Can't believe we're on box number four. Here's to many more, lots of love, Team CB. Very, very, very touched. Thank you so much to them. What a dream. I'm gonna go through my boxes, not my boxes, my bags that I got yesterday with the amazing brands that I had meetings with. I'm sorry that I was so rubbish at vlogging yesterday. I suck, I definitely suck. But today is a new day and we're gonna get ready together and I have an, an event tonight. Good afternoon everyone. I am looking at myself in the viewfinder and finally feeling quite happy again with my skin. It's been a very long road these last few weeks just getting my skin back to what I know it is. I discussed going to see a dermatologist and I think the thing that she noted was that I'd obviously had a bit of a rough time over the summer and that was coming out in my skin. I feel like I've reached a point now where it's getting sorted. I've got red marks, which are healing. There's no bumps, which is making me really happy because I felt really quite down. If there's one thing that affects me personally is my skin. It really has that because I've had acne in the past. And it really affects me. So I'm feeling really happy today. Um, I've put a little bit of the Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturizer on to come upstairs from my skincare routine. And I am going to be getting ready because today's really exciting. I'm actually going to talk on a panel about like it's a it's a panel for women in business that Carrie's sister runs called She Can She Did, and this is her event. Usually they're like in London and places like that. And I've always wanted to go and talk there. And today is my turn at my favourite time of year to go and do a talk in Milton Keynes. It's just a room full of lovely women, and they're always so much fun. I've been to them before, but I've never actually talked. And so this is really exciting for me to be able to to go and do this with She Can She Did. So I'm getting ready for that. I'm going to do my hair as well. Well, I'm not going to do too much with you, but just my usual. I've had to wash it because my hair was gross after yesterday in London. I always feel like so blah, after being in London. I'm not gonna do my makeup with you because I feel like I've done my makeup with you more times than I ever have on my channel in Vlogmas. So that is the plan of action. I'm going to be using my GHD Dynasty Collection Platinum Plus Styler and you would have seen I've been using so I mean this is what I use on my hair anyway but I'm also a ambassador for GHD which is the ultimate dream. So I'm gonna be doing my hair with you today basically all around their dynasty collection which i wasn't actually able to go to the event for i missed it because i was ill which was so annoying have you all noticed how i am not ill yet in december this is a revolution is that the right revolution is that no that's not the right word that is a revelation not a rev Viva la revolution no it's not a revolution oh my gosh this box is so heavy so this is the massive, gorgeous Royal Dynasty Collection Deluxe Set. And this was what the trip previously was all about. So I'm gonna take my hair down because it's weighing me back. This towel is so heavy. <laughs> you can see my hair in all its glory. 
Um, ow, I just whipped myself in the face. I'll whip my hair back and forth. Yeah, this is basically their newest collection and I love that GHD does all these little special collections. Now, inside, I kind of need to put you somewhere where, in fact, wait there. Probably easier if I put you there because then I can actually show you the box. So it opens like, like so. Oh my gosh, it's personalized. Oh, that is so cute. It's literally got my initials. I'm not gonna use the L word. It has got my initials on it, LMG, which is my perfect little set of my initials. So this is like the travel case for it. And inside the top zip displayed beautifully is the Dynasty Collection Platinum Plus Styler, which is what I use on my hair every single day to style it. But I haven't even seen this yet. In the second zip, we have the GHD Dynasty Collection GHD Professional Air Dryer. And this I haven't used. This has got the gorgeous rose gold detailing on here. But these inserts come out so that afterwards you've got like a double, in fact, this is so handy and so useful because you can put things like in this top one, when you take this insert out, you can put like your makeup in there. And then in this bottom one, you could put like your skincare or your hair care bits in there, or you could keep your hair care stuff in the bottom and your makeup, your makeup stuff at the top so that when you're traveling, so it's kind of like you get a Platinum Plus Styler, the GHD Air Hair Dryer, and a handy travel case in like one set, which is obviously this is the Dynasty Collection, so this makes this gift like perfect, absolutely perfect for all of the queens and princesses amongst us, and I like to think that I'm one. So that is just lovely. And in fact, I know someone in my life that could really, really do with one of these. She's been taking a lot more care of her hair recently, and she's been getting the color of all colors recently as well. <laughs> and I think she'd really, really benefit from something like this. So perfect little Christmas present there. And not one of those Christmas presents that you're like, oh, what am I gonna do with that? It's pretty much one of the essential styling tools in any girl's routine. So this is perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself looking a little bit better. I need to dry my hair, I need to do some fake tan, I need to do my makeup, and then we're gonna do our hair together. I'm trying a new tanning product, so I can't show you that. And you've seen most of my beauty routine recently, so I'm just gonna to get to the hair part with you. It is getting darker and darker outside. <laughs> Makeup is done though, and hair is blow dried. It feels very, very nice and soft, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, I always, obviously, as you know, because I've done my hair the other day with you, I always part it on this side, and I just happened to start with this one. Lots of people were like, oh, we can't see what you're doing because you did it in a time lapse. And I was like, me? But it's just, it's literally repetition of the same thing. So, I have actually already started my hair, but I've got my makeup done. I've got my outfit on. I'm not sure if I'm wearing this top yet. I might wear full sleeve, I'm not sure. I haven't decided, so yeah, I'm indecisive. So obviously I showed you my hair the other day, but I did it on like a time lapse, and I have shown you this a gazillion times, like I literally have. It is basically, I just, I have already sprayed it with hairspray, by the way, you're just sat on my hairspray as usual. I spray it with hairspray and then I kind of run over it with the Platinum Plus Styler, like so. And I always find these underside bits actually the hardest to do, especially now with my hair that a bit shorter. As it grows, hopefully that will change. It's just holding the straighteners pretty much vertical and pulling down. So you twist after you clamp the hair. This is a bit of a thick bit. Probably shouldn't have done it so thick. Biting off more than I can chew. And if any of the ends need like curling under, you just do that afterwards. Then you take another bit and you kind of do it forward, but I always go from the top, because it's a bit easier. And again, kind of vertical, but pull forward, like so. Et voila. I think I'm gonna show you a little bit more when it's at the top because it's easier. But these are the Platinum Plus stylers from GHD and these are the ones that I use every single day to do my hair. And now they come in the gorgeous Dynasty Collection Deluxe 
little vanity case, which comes with the air hair dryer, which I use, and the Platinum Plus styler. But also, once you take the inserts out, you get a gorgeous vanity case as well. I will link it down below in the description box, but it's such a gorgeous gift. And I always say it every year, but there is no greater gift than the gift of good hair. With that in mind, you can now get both of the, the tools that I use in a cute little gift, which I think is lovely. Obviously, I am an ambassador for GHD, but I'm super proud of that. Really, really proud. I love working with them. I love their products. And yeah. As we get to these top bits, it's much easier for me to show you how I do it because these bits are a bit longer. Slowing that down a little bit for you shows you a little bit better how I do my hair. So I'm going to speed things up now and just get my hair done and see you when I'm ready to go to the event. But don't forget that the GHD Deluxe gift set is linked in the description box down below. So I think it's such a wonderful gift and it's just super, super special. So yeah. And just like that. Out of this. Sorry. <laughs> just checking myself out whilst listening to the latest episode of Patricia's podcast, let me pause that, it's the one with her sister Maureen who is just an absolute legend, she's so nice, we went to Bora Bora with her but it's so interesting hearing about like her and her journey and at the moment we're learning about what it was like for her to be young, uh, Patricia's younger sister and being the baby of the family and like how she's changed and grows. She said one thing in this that I, oh what was it that she said and I was like yes, she was like you have to learn to love yourself before you can like love anyone else. And that is one of the like one things I say all the time is that you have to love yourself to be able to love someone else. And I love it. I loved it. I'm like 15 minutes in, but I really don't want to turn it off, but I don't have enough time to finish it off. So I'm going to pick it up later. But that's what I like about podcasts. They're very much like I consume them whilst I do my makeup or whilst I'm cooking or anything like that. I love it. So I'll link Patricia's podcast in the description box down below. But I have finished my hair and I thought I would show you these up close just to show you how gorgeous they are. These are the rose gold ones. So all of this is rose gold as well. And then these are a beautiful blush pink color. These are the ones that I've been using and the ones that I haven't been using are gonna be going to someone who needs them far more than I do. But hair is done, makeup is done. Loving my longer hair, loving styling it. It's so much more fun to style it at the moment. I love it. Oh, gorgeous. I thought I would show you what it looks like without the inserts as well. So this could be for all your makeup and it's so nice. And then you can keep all of your hair tools and products and brushes and things like that in here. Just get these little things out. But this is so deep and just so handy but also this is quite lightweight in itself so i am just waiting to leave we're leaving in about 20 minutes and i ali's editing in his room <laughs> i'm trying to decide whether to wear the long sleeve top because carrie says it's cold so i think maybe i should but <gasps> exciting time i've just received a delivery oh that's my top that should be ready um, i've just received a delivery from tala i hope that's how you say it I hope that's right, um, which is Grace Beverly's brand. And as you know, I have recently just kind of like swapped completely over to her leggings because they are the best. And she's kindly sent me another pair of the leggings with the top that goes with it. I'll try all of these on with you. Obviously, I'm not working out at the moment. I haven't, haven't really worked out in a while. I've not really been able to get back into it. But she's also sent me one of her new tracksuits and they are so soft. She sent it to me in white. And as someone that faked hands, this may not be the, the recipe for success. However, the tracksuit bottoms, I think I could probably be okay with not completely ruining. And they're so soft. Oh my gosh, I think I might have to order these in black though because these are, and it's so big. I'll try them on and show you them at some point, maybe in tomorrow as well because I won't actually have time to do it today. But... 
I will link her stuff down below because honestly her gym stuff is game changing and so is her house stuff actually so you should probably check out her house account as well we're just about ready to go though so i'm going to see if my jumper is dry if it is i might wear that one just long sleeve so that i'm warm because apparently it's in a barn <laughs> i'm trying to show you the christmas decorations where carrie lives however her windscreen is so dirty that i don't think you can see <laughs> there you go Ooh. magic it's christmas i love where i live it's so cute I'm always so jealous that Carrie has a high street. We don't have a high street. We don't even have a shop. I bloody love where I live. It's so cute, isn't it? It is very, very cute. Santa! I know him! Oggy! Hello! Hello, Rumplin! How are you doing? Are you okay? Your little ear is always folded back. <laughs> How are you doing, my little delicate fluff ball? Uh, I thought so. I thought uh, so. Talking to me or Oscar? Me or Oscar? Yeah. Oi! <laughs> He's all white. Hey, bud. We weren't talking about you. You got folded here. Good boy. <laughs> How are we doing? You have a good day? What did you get up to? Sleeps? More sleeps? <laughs> Couple of fits? <laughs> Be polite. No, we don't have a fit. Good boy. Poppy. <laughs> We have arrived here and it looks amazing. We've arrived to a place, I don't even know where this is, but it's in Milton Keynes somewhere. And it's the She Can, She Did event. And that's what's owned and founded by uh, Carrie's sister, Fee. And she's been working on this so hard. And it's all for like women under 40 in business. And so I'm gonna be sat on this panel here with some amazing ladies that also have like their own business. And we're gonna talk about all of the things we've been to, our journey, and just have a good old chat. There's also like wine, mulled wine, of course, and gin. And it just looks so lovely. Like, look at this, everyone's having a little chat. And this is such a cute little venue. I love it. So obviously it's like Carrie's mum is here and then it's Carrie's sister and then some of my friends that I went to uni with like Rochelle um, and then also my friend Helen who I'm seeing on Saturday is also here. So I've never actually been to an event where I've had anyone else like friendship wise other than like Carrie or Ali. So this is, I feel pressure. I feel pressure. I feel like I might like, I might mess up. No, 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 it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm gonna go find Carrie and get a gin. Apparently this gin is um, one of Fee's favorites, so I'm gonna go and try it. This is Fee's dress here, I'm gonna show you it. Look at that dress. She is literally the disco ball of the evening. Oh Look, I don't know where Carrie is now. I got you. Is that my good angle? <laughs> Two bad influences. <laughs> This time next year, I'm going to make sure that I throw some kind of event to tell people we're going to come together and really have that Christmas party that we miss out on. I've always had websites growing up, and from, from that, you know, I was just a student in debt, and I, I, I was really sort of unfulfilled. I just started this website, and how I started it was I was taking pictures of outfits on my bedroom floor. I, I mean, I don't know why I didn't think it would be better that I was wearing them. It was a, it was a real epiphany when I was having <laughs> and um, it was something that I found that I really, really enjoyed and that I was, it, it wasn't an effort for me to, it was just a hobby to begin with and I was at university and I was doing it alongside my studies in my final year um, 
once I left, I managed to get myself a, a job, thankfully, after going to university, I managed to get myself a job at head office, and I was doing both this one blog I loved, alongside working, and I remember I've been doing it for about a year, and my husband does it as well, and it's really difficult to do both of those things at the same time, whilst doing it with someone else that you live with, and I was just at my desk one day and I was like, I can't, I can't continue to do this, I have to, I have to make a choice. And I had a mortgage and I didn't have, I mean, I've managed to save just about enough that if everything went wrong, I'd be okay for a little while. How long was this one? Probably about three months. Yeah. Um, and it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done because I don't come from money. I absolutely don't. That's, that is something that is such a misconception that comes with the industry, I don't. And my parents were not going to bail me out if I took off on my mortgage. That was definitely that. But luckily, I loved it. I, I enjoyed working every waking, waking moment at it. And it was the best decision I ever made. And I often have nightmares at night thinking I've stayed in that job and I'm still there. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever shared anything that you regret telling you know, your audience? I don't think I ever regret sharing anything, but I feel like communicating the hard times and every business, it doesn't matter whether you're in you know, what I do or whether you're in marketing, it, it doesn't matter. When you're struggling and something bad happens in your life, and you know, I, I've worked on some of the biggest campaigns in my career in the last four months, but I've also had a really horrible time can't turn around and say that to, to these brands because you do your business and you have to keep going. And it's the same for anyone going through a hard time. You have to figure out how to keep going without crumbling at the same time. And like navigating that work in life is, is hard. What's your advice then for when those moments hit, given that we all know that there's always going to be bad days? It's taking a small step back and then I'm never saying, you know, just abandon ship, but we all have areas where we can pull back, um, even if that's just you're not working into your evenings and letting yourself have those evenings to, to deal and work through and process what it is you're going through or what's happening or anything like that, just giving yourself a little bit more, even if you just take a day, because I, I took a few days off, I did take long enough off, I know that now, and I know for the future if I have a few more weeks off the world is it going to end or a few more days off the world is it going to end and things will be better in the long run if I just give myself a little bit more time and a little bit more self-care. Well, I think that 2020 is going to be a really exciting time because we're going through a stage of when the consumer decides what they want and social media has given people and types of people voices and they want innovative products, innovative services and the finger on the pulse there is going to be the best thing because that's what I'm Is that why you're on TikTok? <laughs> 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 like, I literally asked my audience, I was, I was like, is anyone on TikTok? 95% of people were not. But I still did anyway, it's great. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. But you like the cake bit. Oh. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Life. You, you, you want? I don't have enough hands for what I love in life. Mama G. I'm so wrong. Mama G. <laughs> 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 I love that you said that as well. <laughs> my mama shares my humour. I, I, I taught her a humour. One gin. 
one, one gin, one, one mulled gin. Mulled gin and a mince pie. For Ali. For Ali. With a heart on it. Yeah. Oh, is it Frank Sinatra? No, no. it's not. Oh, no. Good evening everyone. My goodness, I'm looking very shiny and all my lipstick has come off. Is it on my chin? No, I've been rubbing my chin so my chin looks a little bit white. I'm gonna get into bed soon because I'm tired and I need to go to bed. <laughs> I thought I would quickly show you what was in the bags that I got in my meetings the other day. So, first of all, I finished up the day with the ladies from NARS and they kindly they saw that I lost my Rue Bonaparte eyeliner. I have actually found it now, but I was worrying about running out of it. It's what I use for such a lovely thing when they see on your videos that you love something and that you've lost it. But yeah, these are the eyeliners that I use in my waterline. Rather than like a dark one, I use a nude kind of color. It looks almost like concealer. It's actually really good for concealing on the spot as well. But they also have launched a new candle, I think. And this is the candle called the Tiar candle. Tiar? 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 I don't know. But this is the candle that, from the flower that they have in... Oh, wow. In Bora Bora. And it literally smells just like Bora Bora. I love it. Oh. Literally, NARS just is based around the most beautiful products and history and, oh, it's so lovely. But yeah, very happy to have some more of my eyeliner because I've really got into using that and I really like how it looks. Got the idea from Nikki Makeup. So that's that. Then from Dior, basically there was a, an afternoon tea with Dior and I couldn't go. And so these are the bits that they got at the afternoon tea. And I, um, this is what was so heavy. <laughs> this box is so heavy. I love the Maison Christian Dior. How much does that go in my house? Black and white like that is so my aesthetic. So, oh my gosh, I already have one of these. This is the, I literally already got one of these. Full size like this, wow. And it's beautiful. Oh, that smells like Dior to me. That literally smells like Dior. Then we've got the Jasmine Desange body cream and the Encens Mystique. That's a candle. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is festive. Do you know what that reminds me of? That smells like, that smells like Hotel Cost in Paris. Wow. Oh, wow, that's lovely. Oh, Maison Christian Dior stuff is just the loveliest though. Really, really is. I'm gonna keep that in its lovely little box. Take that upstairs. I'm gonna recycle everything else. Of course. Cool. Finally, from Kiehl's, I've got the new Christmas creme de corps soy milk and honey whipped butter. This feels very light. Oh, it's because it's whipped. Oh gosh, that smells lovely. Do love a body butter. I've got one of those for Carrie as well, so I've got to make sure that I give that to her. Then we've got the cannabis sativa seed oil herbal cleanser. Definitely gonna give that a try, because I really liked their cucumber one. Daily Defense SPF, the butter mask for lips, the midnight recovery, some masks, and their new eye cream as well to try out. So I've got lots of lovely bits in here to have a little play around with. But I am going to leave this video here now because I've been jabbering on for two days to you now. So I shall see you in my next video, but don't forget that I have linked the DHD Deluxe Dynasty Collection gift box and gift set in the description box down below. So if you want something special or want to get someone something special for Christmas, it'll be linked down there. But other than that, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I look so tired. I can't wait to get into bed. Good night.